Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Jeremy Lin Talk. Today, um, I want to talk about something that is, doesn't exactly have to do with Jeremy Lin, but in a way it sort of does, and I don't really want to talk about it because the last thing he wants is for us to feel sorry for him or to talk about it. The ESPN Top 100 Players list just got released, and... Jeremy Lin is not on the top 100 players in the NBA today. Why am I not surprised? I mean, that list is ridiculous to begin with. It's a complete sucky list. It's terrible. But to leave off Jeremy Lin, I think, uh, to me, this might be like the most heinous thing on a list. Because they put people on a list that are rookies who haven't even played a single NBA minute yet. Ahead of Jeremy Lin, who averaged 15 and six last year in like 24 minutes, with like a 20 PER, who averaged 21 points per game per 36 minutes. Players who haven't played a single NBA minute got ranked ahead of that guy, Jeremy Lin. Um, as I said, I'm not trying to get worked up about it because it's just some stupid list that a bunch of sports experts put together. So, I mean, by no way is it imperative. What's imperative is what happens on the court. You know, Jeremy Lin, Jeremy has always been looked down upon his entire career from the time he's in high school to Harvard, his first few years, his first couple of years in the NBA. I mean, and then what happened? And then insanity happened. Jeremy is the type of person who feeds on doubt, who feeds on hate, who feeds upon people who don't believe in him. And if anything, him being left off of the top 100 players list is another fuel to the fire. And I believe in him. A lot of other Jeremy Lin fans such as yourself believe in him. This list doesn't mean anything. He is going to play out of his mind and prove everybody wrong. But man, it's still so tough to watch him get so disrespected every single time. <sighs> God, uh, I mean, just to just to I got a list right here, and just to like ramble off the people that was ahead of him. I, I mean, this Ronnie Hood, Trevor Ariza, Nerlens Noel, Cody Zeller. Andre Robertson, who shoots like 30% from the free throw line. Like rookies like Lonzo Ball, Markel Fodes, Ben Simmons. Dennis Smith Jr. I don't hate on any of these players, but objectively speaking, these players are not better than Jeremy Lin. So that's it, guys. I'm really, really excited for the season. And um, I really, I hasn't, I haven't been made, making a lot of videos because there's really not much to talk about. I mean, the Nets roster is set. You know, D'Lo, Lynn, Crab, Carroll, Mozgov looks like looks to be the starters. And I just can't wait until preseason starts, like about a month or less. And I hope Lynn can just ball out, just prove everybody wrong, prove the people, prove those voters who made the sh crappy list wrong. It's uh, it's a crime actually it's really I mean I mean but uh, but you know Jeremy wouldn't want us to feel sorry for him wouldn't want us to be distraught over it. and I'm not distraught you know I'm not distraught it's and you shouldn't either it's it, it, it's, it's just a list don't feel sorry for him let's let the players play let's let's see what Jeremy Lin can do and you know I believe in him I, I totally believe he can put up you know, 20 and 8 if he plays 34 minutes a game this time coming season and he's not injured. So let Jeremy do his thing. Alright guys, please like and subscribe. That will let me know to make more. Peace out, yo.